Hi, it's Jamie, Progressive's Employee of the Month, two months in a row. Leave a message at the... Hi, Jamie. It's me, Jamie. I just had a new idea for our song about the Name Your Price tool. So when it's like, tell us what you want to pay, hey, 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 and the trombone goes, blah, 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 and you say, we'll help you find coverage options to fit your budget. Then we just all do finger snaps while a choir goes, savings coming at ya, savings coming at ya. Yes? No? Maybe? Anyway, see your practice tonight. I got new lyrics for the rap break. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Blog Talk Radio. Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. This presentation of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. Hey, everybody, it's Jimmy Mack coming to you live. Hope you're having a great evening. Gosh, we used to do 12 noon on Tuesdays, now it's 9 p.m. Uh, my cousin was on Facebook the other day, made me laugh, and uh, she put on there it's 7 45 p.m., too early to go to bed, asking for a friend. And I thought, no, you're not. You're a nurse, you're probably wiped out. We're glad you guys are here. We're in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, so look us up. Of course, tonight we're worldwide, and we'd like to bring it to you wildly every week, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're, of course, on the Goldilocks Network, and as well as Spreaker and Blog Talk and iHeartRadio, so lots going on. If you're not already signed up for our email uh, weekly blowout email newsletter you definitely want to get on that just write us at info at jimmymachealing.com and we will get you on there we don't solicit we don't sell our email list uh we just send out uh affirmations and video and copies of things like this free radio show tonight of course comics and a lot of different things so it's all good Uh, we've got a new audio mp3 coming up uh next wednesday will be the release on that That's called body scan. It's really interesting. It starts at your head and goes all the way to your tippy toes. So look for that to drop, as it were, next uh, Wednesday is what we're looking at. And if you're familiar with my audio MP3s, you're going to want to pick that one up. should be great. It's only about a half hour, but it blazes through everything. So we're excited about that. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, please come see me. Um, at uh, Kodawar Yoga Studio, which is a breathtaking studio in South Tampa. Uh, and I'm there Wednesdays and Fridays. You can call them directly at Kodawari Yoga Studio in Tampa and uh, get on my schedule there. Also, this next Monday, I will be at Dr. Charlotte Tempone's office seeing clients there for readings, of course, and healings from across the room. And that's off Davis Island. Tampa General Hospital. It's a gorgeous place as well. So lots of great friends that have supported me for forever, many, many decades. Uh, Whereas my friend says, uh, since Moses wore short pants. So and uh, so a lot of good stuff coming up. Reach out anytime if we can help you in any way. That's what we're here for. That's our mission, of course. And that's just like my friend tonight, who I enjoy having on the show. I like new people too. Don't get me wrong. I like to mix it up, but, you know, when I have people that I've known for 50 years kind of, <laughs> kind of thing, I love it because it makes it so much easier. There's nothing nerve-wracking about it. It's just two little friends having a little conversation on a park bench, you know. So that's the way we like to make it. Uh, my special guest tonight is Joanne Leo, and Joanne has more than 30-plus years' experience as a psychic medium doing readings and healings, of course. She's appeared on a lot of different radio shows consistently booked reader 
and psychic showcases, of course, and uh, she does EFT, which is tapping uh, and help many people overcome grief and fear and anxieties, including herself. And her motto is all about psychic readings, readings with the heart. And her clients come from across the country like mine, and Joanne provides individual in-person sessions or sessions via the phone. She's also available for groups, psychic parties, and corporate events. So we're just going to give you a taste tonight, folks, from both of us, and uh, then you'll know what's up. So it's uh, you can find out more at psychicjoanneleo.com. That's P-S-Y-C-H-I-C, Joanne, J-O-A-N-N-E, Leo.com. If you email us, um, you could email me, info at jimmymachealing.com. For those of you that don't want to write all this down, I will send you an email with everyone's information on it, mine and Joanne's. So reach out if we can help you in any way. How are you tonight, Joanne? I'm doing great, Jim. Oh, good, honey. I'm glad. I know we chitty chatted the other night, so you and I both have been feeling a little off, but we're back on track, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. We're definitely on the right track. Love it. Tell folks uh, how to get a hold of you, honey, via uh, email. What's the best email and best phone number? Because they're going to want to go deeper after tonight. Uh, Psychic Joanne, J-O-A-N-N-E, Leo, at gmail.com. Or they can always phone me and get on the schedule, which is 727-743-3400. I love that. So, folks, we're going to start taking callers here in a minute. I will say to you, um, we laugh about the name Body Scan on my new audio MP3. Joanne knows what I'm talking about because people always go, I don't know, just read me. And it's like, you know, we just all want to slap anybody that says that across the top of their head, right? Uh, So do narrow it down tonight, folks. I mean, think about you know, this is a taste. Joanne and I don't do this as a hobby. We live it and breathe it. We do it seven days a week, sometimes 20 hours a day, I think. And uh, so it's what we do and we give back, but we want to give you at least a, a taste, at least an appetizer tonight. So narrow it down for your question, relationships, money, maybe it's health, whatever it might be. And really this allows us to be more accurate for you. Um, so instead of playing the guessing game, we definitely want you to narrow it down and, uh, you know, come up with a good question. I always let uh, my guests go first. So Joanne will read for you and see what spirit brings. And then if you need a healing or I have anything that they want to scream at us all, I'll certainly bring it up. So 904 is our first caller. Hi, what's your name? We have a clue where you're calling from, North Florida, right? Right, um, Jacksonville. Hi. And my name is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Welcome to the show. You have a Thanks. question for Joanne? Uh, I want you to look at career, please, for me. All right, Deb. And listen, um, what's your birthday? Because I'm a psychic numerologist. So. 5-17-68. 5-17-1968. Give me a sec. Okay, so this this is... <laughs> You're in a good year this year as far as changing things or getting out there. Have you made some contacts with uh, with people that know that you're looking for a different position? I'm sorry, say that again? Have, do, have you made any contacts with anybody that you're looking for a different position? Not yet, no. Okay. Um well, I really feel like October, November, and December, you're in a much more positive, well, you're in a positive cycle to now bring things out. Uh, I know you have some decisions to make here. <laughs> you're a little frustrated. Is that true? I am, yeah. Hello? Pardon me? Did you say, did you ask me if I was frustrated? I said you're feeling a little frustrated, but you have some decisions and, and to weigh things out on a couple different areas of your life right now. Yes. Um, you know, too, Deb, I, you know, you take everything to heart and, you know, you, you, you kind of tend to stuff things. That's not good. So in some of your relationships, you really need to start learning to talk into I statements 
as far as the job goes, you're in a, we're in um, September right now. So let me look at September for you. Okay. Um, if you really have you put out any resumes yet, Devin? No, I'm not sure where to go. Okay. Uh, well, you could start with uh, Indeed or uh, these other websites. Um, I can't think of them off the top of my head right at this minute. But uh, I would yeah, career start career with... builder monster, all those, honey. LinkedIn, even yeah. to really network, all that. Right. I don't even um, really know what to do. Now, what, what I'm saying what, is, what, I don't you, know what, what even you, career to go into. Okay, what are you doing what, now? What would you like to do? And she can narrow it down for you, hopefully. Okay, right now, um, I am a, a mom. Oh, that's an important job. Okay. Okay. Now, what's your, what would you what's like your, to do? I don't know. Well, that puts you in a quandary because then that gives you scattered energy. Before you were a mom, what did you do? Receptionist. Okay. So you have ex- receptionist experience. You could also start at, uh, you know, doing um, administrative assistant work on a entry level. There's a lot of things you can do. You have to get unstuck here. You're your own worst enemy, Deb. Okay. Stop being a doubting Thomas. You know, start getting proactive here. So if you if your background's been a receptionist before, start there. You can always move up to being an assistant. But there there's a lot of jobs out there. You just have to go and be proactive and get your put out a resume. You know, and don't be ashamed to say I've been a stay at home mom, but my background I have. You know, what are your strengths? You know, if you've got a positive attitude, you got a team. You know, that you're a team player, um, that you enjoy people. I mean, you know, you got to get a little proactive here. So let's get a resume together and let's get cooking. Let's go. Okay. It's not going to happen if you, keep, if you keep doing Ring Around the Rosie, you're going to get be stuck. Right. So you, you don't and be your own worst enemy. Be your own best friend. Yeah. This kind of feels like something you're having to do. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So are we in uh, separation mode or divorce or that sort of thing or? Not yet. Okay. So that's what it all feels like. Does that make sense? So, and I don't know you, but I'm just saying that's what's coming through. Okay. And yes. uh, right. yeah. So I definitely mm-hmm. would be looking at, um, like we said, uh, LinkedIn, Career Builder, Monster, uh, Indeed. There's a zillion different job searches out there. And even if you have to be the receptionist at, you know, Dr. Lawyer, Indian Chief's office, I would start there and work my way up, and I'd figure it out. And I might build a little, you know, resume from the past, like Joanne suggested, and, you know, crank it up. you got to start somewhere. Uh, back in the day, I had as many as three jobs, so – you know, if I, I always tell people if I can if get If I went free, back to school, do you see where what what area I should go for? Well, first well of all, what are you your choices? Yeah, what what are your likes and dislikes? Do you have a degree already? No. Okay, okay. so you, you 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 first of all you've got to get uh, an AA degree, which is just the basics. You know, so that you you, you if you're going to do. Um, college, well, then, you you know, basically, you can get a receptionist job without college. Okay. And then you can figure out some of the things that you might be geared to, but you got to get the basics under your belt. I told you that you're in a cycle right now. This has been going on since July. You're on the fence. You're procrastinating. You've got big, serious decisions to make here. So it's times that you... You better get your power back and, uh, and and stand strong in your shoes and take a different direction here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, honey. Appreciate you calling in. Good luck to, to you on everything, okay? Thank you. You bet. 
take care of a good night. Yep. Sometimes we got to get it moving there, Joanne. Just saying, yeah. right? Well, what, a lot of times, my mother used to say that the Lord helps those that help themselves. So you got to keep it cranked up and do whatever you got to do, you know? That Well, I to- totally agree with that. And, you know, the thing is, is when you get into the muck and the mire and you got to make the decisions, you got to do your pros mm-hmm. and your cons and make some yep. decisions and get them stuck. Yeah. You know, and I, I mean, I'd rather be the Walmart greeter any day of the week than not work at all. I would do anything, you know what I mean? I'd do day labor before I would not work, so that's just me. Uh, but I, I come from a long line of workers that aren't afraid of work, so you can help it. Uh, we just happen to have some of the best jobs on earth right now, so we're very fortunate and lucky, and we do appreciate that. I do feel like, you yeah. know, she tests better for getting out there and working right now than going back to college or school for a lot of folks school is just this big time out you know they just act like oh i'm going to school i don't have time to it's like yeah no you got time to do a little bit of everything you know uh nursing school might be might be more brutal but you'd be surprised folks will you know still have kids still have a husband still going to school and they're working too so you always find time for something well, there's always things that she could go to school for radiology, you know, or tech. Yeah, uh, yeah, short-term know, stuff. I like that, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. You could do welding yeah. or radiology or ultrasound tech or whatever it might be. So couldn't agree yeah. more, honey. I, I believe God helps those who help themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you. And, again, we just want to encourage folks and keep it stirred right. up. 818 is our next yes. caller. Hi, Carolyn, California, I'm guessing. How are you, 818? Hi, I'm doing fine. How are you so today? Good. We're doing Hi. great. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking, honey. You have a question for Joanne? Yes, I want to know, what does my spirit or my soul wants me to know about my health? About your health? What's your birthday, hon? August 22nd, 1949. Oh, you're a real powerful little soul there. All right. Okay. Okay, so let's see, 8-1. Let's see here. Um, what is, uh, do you have headaches or neck issues? No, I haven't had, uh, that uh, maybe in the past I had a uh, neck issues. Okay. Uh, I really feel like, have you gone through some testing but don't have a clear answer? Um, you regarding my neck, you mean? No, in regards to your health, because your question was about health. Oh, yeah. So, well, um, uh, well, I've had a lot of tests, and uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm not giving the answers yet. That's what I'm seeing here, but have they come to a conclusion? Because I feel like I'm doing ring around the rose here. <laughs> well, it's taken years and years. So basically, yes, that you came to a conclusion. Um, I th- now, with all these tests and everything, you haven't had an actual diagnosis, am I correct? Um, yes, well, it was uh, actually the thyroid for many years, so. I uh, was so I had no problem. So yes, they finally told me I had a thyroid problem, maybe about okay. six years ago. Okay. Well, the thyroid can is like your engine for your body, and yeah. um, you really need an excellent endocrinologist. But also, I think the thing is 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 looking at. Um, I feel like there's a, a test here to make sure that your vitamin D levels correct, your B vitamin okay. levels are correct. Are you getting that too, Jim? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I would say, too, uh, a lot of times it isn't, if your neck's really bothering, unless it's the front of the neck, it's not thyroid. You don't test thyroid, by the way, for that issue with the neck. Bone, muscle, ligament, tendon, joint, cartilage, uh, fascia. It tests more like a nerve thing, by the way. Thumbs and goes, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, it's not constant. Yeah. So it does test as a nerve. I love chiropractors. Uh, you know, once you get a good one, that they're great. I see a lady here in Palm Harbor, Kristen Beck. I'll throw her name out because I love her. 
Kristen Beck, B-E-C-K in Palm Harbor. Anybody wants an awesome one to go to, she's fantastic. And, you know, a lot of times they don't have to snap and crack and really drive you nuts. They can use a little activator. It's a little clicker. And uh, mm-hmm. I feel that's what you have going on. I don't have my little oh. chart in front of me or I'd spend the time and figure out exactly where it's at. Stand up, though. Let's yeah. stand up right now and just rock that out, honey. Okay. Uh, yep. You've been with me before, so face to you north. Yes, I'm ready. So go ahead and just put your hand back on the back of your neck, wherever that hurts or where it tends to hurt. And we're going to find a weakness. Yeah. It's going to feel like somebody's dropping you backwards. Yes, I've gone backwards. There you go. Okay. So all I'm going to do is strengthen that area, especially the nerve endings. Okay. It's going to pull you forward really hard. It's going to bring you okay, back to neutral forward. once it's done. I'm just changing it now. Okay. I'm good. There you go. Excellent. Yeah, and I wouldn't hesitate to find a good local chiropractor. Cranial sacral done today. I love cranial sacral. Big fan. Uh, That is more gentle for your neck. Uh, That would help, too. I'm going to ask Spirit, is she better off with chiropractor? You're better off with cranial sacral, so look into that. Um, Okay. Some people also do trigger point therapy, even a massage therapist that advertises trigger point therapy. They're really looking for that that little misfiring area of your neck, trigger point therapy okay. or cranial sacral therapy. And cranial. generally these are yep, cranial sacral. And generally okay. these are massage therapists that have taken a lot of specialized courses and gone deeper. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. yeah makes and we'll see what happens now, it. honey. Yeah, okay, appreciate you calling. You. Thanks for listening. Okay, you're welcome. You bet. Have a great night. 724 is our next caller. Yeah, go ahead, honey. She needed, well, she needs to check those D and B levels too. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. 724 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Kristen, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Kristen. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Thanks for asking. Can Joanne help you with something, honey? Yeah, I've been having very strange dreams lately. Oh, and okay. And quite a few of them have been happening, but I don't know exactly what they're saying. Okay. Uh, what's your birthday? October 23rd, 1981. Okay. Cool. So are your dreams very clear or are you just getting bits and pieces? Um, Sometimes they're very clear. Like last night I had a a dream, a text message came through and I could read Uh the text message. Like it was like in real time and it Mm -hmm. was just, are you home? That was all it said. And then I had another one where all these clocks struck 11, 11 and my grandfather who's deceased was in it looking at a watch and then I had one where my dad was following me with a credit card. And they've been very, I can't put them together, basically. But they've been nightly. Well, I just think that those are really um, little symbols of, um, you know, I, I always call it life on the other side, so to speak, uh, where timing is of an issue here. So that's, that's what I got out of one of your dreams. Okay. The other one is, are you, are you home? Well, home represents different things to me as a psychic. Okay. Because well, I know who the text home. message was from. It's somebody I'm not speaking to anymore. That's why I okay. thought the dream was strange. Okay. But this is somebody that you haven't spoke to before. How does that make you, how does that relationship end? And what does it mean to you? There's a lesson there of, you know, I love the delete button. And um, a lot of times when you, your subconscious mind is thinking about a past relationship or a person that either hurt your feelings or things didn't work out, uh, a lot of times it's uh, just a reminder, what did you learn from that experience so that you don't make that same mistake? Okay. And basically, I would not say they're prophetic dreams. 
I just think that they're lesson learned kind of dreams or to pay attention to um, timing and to also, I like 11, 11 because it's like, okay, what are your goals? What are your wishes? What are your desires? And getting very clear. So when you get something like that, I always tell people, get a piece of paper. I'll start writing your goals. Right. But I have had prophetic dreams, too. Like, I was shown about, uh, like, a false friend who was spreading gossip about me in the dream. And sure enough, I walked in in a situation and heard her saying exactly what she was saying in the dream. I, Mm -hmm. you know, and I was like, huh, imagine that. And then, you know, like, I've had numerous experiences like this. Well, I'm sure Jimmy has an MP3 that relates to this, too. Yeah, the uh, I'm kind of more on the Freud side of uh, it's it's the uh, generally uh, the unconscious wishes, thoughts, and dreams. Uh, if you have prophetic ones, which you're speaking of, that's awesome. Uh, most of it is, uh, you know, you could eat a pizza late at night, B vitamins, and uh, you, you would think you're riding an elephant across. But see, that's uh, what I thought was happening. Yeah. That's why I started yeah. writing them yeah. down because yeah. I thought they were just weird. And then yeah, when they and started I, hopping, I always, hmm? yeah, and I, one, say, yep. I had a dream that I found $2 bills underneath a bunch of lottery tickets, right? And I walk mm-hmm. my neighbor's dog when she works over night shifts, and she pays me to do this. And she come around two days after I had that dream and literally paid me with $2 bills. And she didn't know about my dream. And I just thought that was so funny because I was doing the same thing. Like, what does this mean? Is this symbolic? And here I just got $2 bills. <laughs> yeah. When I, when I ask spirit, it isn't anything you're forcing to happen. I think you're more or less having a premonition of it coming about. So it's yeah. like you're getting that Very ahead weird. of time and that, then it's going to happen. So uh, things are so interdimensional. People would it'd blow their minds if they knew. I always – want to clear things in parallel universe and in the parallel world uh, and even other worlds because there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. I'd keep journaling it. I think it's fabulous. You know, I think it can only help your uh, intuitive side. I do have an audio MP3. Joanne's right about that. It's actually called magic eight ball. It's quite funny. It's just the, the silly black uh, colored eight ball that you would shake and, you would turn it over and look at the bottom of it and it'd say not now or maybe tomorrow or, you know, you win yeah. or whatever, one of those silly novelty things. So that's what we call the audio MP3 and it's all about strengthening intuition. So that may right. be something you want to look at at some point and it's on jimmymackhealing.com of course. And you can go look at audio MP3s. There's a whole lot of them. If you're not already on our audio on our weekly uh, email list, you definitely want to get on that. We send out a ton of stuff for free, and it's info at com. So okay, I'll when you can, honey, sign up for that. Yeah, and thanks so much for calling in. We find it well, so fascinating you guys don't and see any, No, No new love or money coming then. <laughs> well, you didn't, oh, you didn't love or out? money? Oh, that's for another show, honey. Yeah, you're in the dream department uh, right now. I'll dreamy talking yeah, to you. Yeah, I was hoping you, so. you were going to tell me that my dreams were real. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that. I think I think maybe half are premonition of what you're picking up on ahead of time and that just before you go to sleep, say to dream state. And I think other times, like I said, you could have a wild pizza with anchovies and B vitamins and you'll think you're riding a seal across the Serengeti plain and, you know, killing wolves in the middle of nowhere or something bizarre. It's just It's just meaningless. Mind candy is what my mentor and dear friend used to call it. Uh, but my yeah. joke would be if you get up in the middle of the night and the American Indian is sitting on the foot of your bed and you reach out and touch his feathers, that's the guy I want to talk to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me too. Okay. Me too, Jim. All right. Makes sense, honey. So. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for calling in. Have a great rest Thank of the you week. Guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye for now. Bye. Yeah. Hasn't that been your experience too, Joanne? We've all had prophetic stuff and people come visit us in our dreams. And Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, yeah. I, I love the mind candy idea because a yeah. lot of people, you know, spend a lot of energy trying, you know, now I, I think if you, you have a dream of, of something fearful or you have something that, you know, is weighing on your mind or 
you're feeling, <clears throat> um, you know, that you get an idea about, oh, I need to call the doctor and get my physical or whatever. Well, then do it. Yeah. Absolutely. If it's helpful, I get it. Yeah, I'm there with you, honey. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, tell tell them, for folks that are just joining us, honey, tell them your website again. Let them know about that. And also, uh, mm-hmm. Joanne's available, obviously, like me, seven days a week to schedule time with y'all. And she does great reading. She does cards and numerology and, you know, touches on the astrology. It's reading from the heart. Y'all need to get a hold of her, definitely. Tell them the website, honey, and your phone number and uh, also the email address. We're halfway through the show. Yes. Um, they can check out my website, which has my bio on it, which is psychic Joanne, J O A N N E, Leo.com. Um, my email is psychic Joanne with an E, Leo, doc, uh, at gmail.com. And they can always reach me by phone, 727 743 3400. Love that. Folks, you're going to want to go deeper. I've had a lot of different readings with Joanne for decades, and, uh, you know, nine times, 9.9 times out of 10, it's phenomenal. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. So it's all good. And, uh, and yeah, you, that's fantastic. And yeah, and anybody that can email me, if you email me, all you got to remember is jamiemachealing.com, but email me. I'll send you all Joanne's information as well as mine uh, tonight or tomorrow the next day. So. 910 is the next uh, caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Nine one zero, you're on live. Hello, we hmm. can hear you breathing. Hi. Yeah. I bet you they can put you the hear phone us down. Now? I bet they did. Yeah. They put the phone down and they're walking the dog, Joanne. Yeah. <laughs> We'll take or another the call. Dog out. Oh, yeah, hopefully they'll call back. 910, if you get this, call us back. 727 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Lisa. Lisa, how Hi, are you? Lisa. I, I'm good. How are you guys doing? Good. Thanks for asking, honey. Do you have a question we can help you with tonight? Yeah, um, I'm going through a lot right now. I just want to know, like, when you see things changing for me in a, in a better direction. All right, what's, what's your birthday, Lisa? Uh, April 3rd, 1971. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. You know, thank you. I want you to, I want you to think positive here because uh, you're into this 18 month cycle of really kind of. I know you're going through a lot right now, and it's kind of really a soul thing um, where you have to really kind of people, places, and things, good for me, not good for me. And uh, there's been some ups and downs with you and disappointments. So what I want you to do is I want you to, first of all, just don't drink and drive because you will get a DUI or a ticket, I'm telling you right now. Okay, I don't drink. Well, that's good. Do you do any medications or anything that can get you into trouble? No. Okay, that's good. Um, is there anything legal that you're dealing with? Yes. Okay, because that's what I'm looking at here. First of all, you know, there, it's always a game with anything legal. <clears throat> and the, the game is, is to wear you out so that you just settle. You understand that, right? Yeah. So I'm telling you to make sure that you weigh out both sides of the coin before you agree to anything. But I know that okay. this has been an on again. I know this has been an up and down, on again, off again thing here. You have to have patience and faith. It just Those it just things. it just started. Like I just hired a lawyer on the 14th, so this is brand new. Nothing's okay. happened yet. Okay, I'm just telling you for the next, uh, first of all, let's say this started in April, so I want to say from January, you got all the way from January, this last January, um, till, let me figure this out here, uh, 
it's going to be till May of next year where you're going to absolutely kind of start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. You got to have patience. You can't get frustrated. You got to have all your ducks in a row and all your facts in a row. Okay. okay. Um, don't get emotional or don't, you know, because you see the, uh, whoever is on the other side is going to try to wear you out or to, to give you some things. So you just got to stand strong on your shoes and have patience and faith. Okay. Let your attorney do the work. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't plan on being that involved, so he's going to do most of it. Well, you will get, you will have to get involved. So, yeah, he's going to do it. You'll be surprised, yeah. <laughs> well, the decision-wise, yeah, but I'm not going to court or anything. Okay. Okay. So, that's, so I, I feel like... Uh, Really, basically, there's a lot of other issues besides this legal thing that you're going through emotionally. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Really intense. Uh, what I, here's, here's what I want to have you put in your mind's eye. Visualize a scale. And so when the scale's even, you're balanced, right? Right. So if you let, if you let people, places, and things overweigh you on one side, you're out of balance. Do you, do right. you understand? Yeah. So it's very, very important that you get guilt out of your equation because guilt, you have to do something wrong in order to feel guilty. So don't let somebody push you or make you get into situations where you have to feel like you have to or that they try to make you feel guilt, guilty you into making a decision. Okay. So you got to be pretty strong on your shoes, even though there's this emotional drama is going on around you. Yeah, well, my my father is, um, I think he's going through some negative health changes because he's like 85, you know, and he's not, mm-hmm. I, I don't know, like, he's just very, like, grumpy and angry. You know how when people get older, they sometimes they lash out at you, and that's been really, I don't take it personally, but it has been hard, you know, just to deal with it. And I told him, I said, you can't treat me like this. It's not okay. And he has kind of backed off from being rude to me because I think he realized that he needs to stop. But then I don't trust that. I think he's going to go back to being mean again. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's not a, that, that chapter's never an easy one anyway. When you yeah. get older and, and you don't feel good or you're not okay and um, – you kind of wish that you were about 30 years younger. Yeah, of course. So I know that that affects you because you're sensitive, but uh, you have to realize that uh, he's going through a, a lot of changes himself. Yeah, I know. I feel bad for him because it must be scary to, like, be facing your mortality, you know? It is. It is. But uh, October, November, and December, uh, you know, be prepared because it's definitely going to be where you got to keep your balance, like I showed you with the scale here. Don't let anybody get you too tilted out of whack here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay? Okay. Awesome. Very important. Thanks for calling in tonight, honey. We appreciate it. Appreciate you listening okay. to the show, too. Okay. You don't have anything to say to me, sir? Oh, I mean, I'd go all night, honey, but she's probably, she's put in some good time on it, so I'm feeling pretty good about it right now, you know? Okay. So, I, the, the biggest thing I would say is if your dad's 85 and he's acting uh, sideways, that's not going to change. Uh, my father was like that all the way to the door, so I can relate to you in a big way, okay? And as far yeah. as legal stuff, How did... my, my best friend is a, is a litigation attorney, and I, I hear more about legal things than I ever wanted to know. And so I think what Joanne is also telling you is there might be a lot of that between now and then. So you're going to have to really weigh your options carefully and don't be pushed into anything. And if you're planning on not going to trial, then you might have to go all the way to the door for trial. So, and then, then, you know, you know, collapse Uh it the week before kind of thing. So keep that in mind. Okay. That's what she's seeing for you. And that's what I'm picking up too. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you, honey. Bye for now. Nine one seven is our next caller. Hi, nine one seven. Where are you calling from, and what's your name? Hello. 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 What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Hi. this is Casey from New York. Hi. Hard to hear you, honey. Yeah. Uh, Can you talk talk up a little bit more? Okay. Um, did you, did, there you go. Did you hear from New York? Is that better? There you go. That's yeah, a million percent better. Yeah. Whatever you did, now we can hear you. That's great. I, I was wondering um, if you see me and if there's any advice on um, finding and contacting my ex, Ronnie. Um, he owes me money, but that's not the thing. I'm really interested in getting back my special ring that I had given to him. I've uh, had reading. What's your name? My, what's what's Casey. your name? Casey. Casey, spell that for me. K A A C Y. Okay. What's your birthday, Casey? March 29th. Okay. So we have a two. Oh. Well, and do you and happen to know August, Ronnie's birthday? August twenty third. Do, do you need a year? <laughs> no, I just want to see where he's at. So, okay. Uh, is he in another relationship? I really don't know right now. I lost uh, touch with him. Okay. We had so been together, and then he lived nearby. I would see him from time to time in the neighborhood, and I went to look him up, and I found he's not at that same address, so I don't know where he is. I, I'm i not feeling like you're going to get the ring back. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know what you're getting, Jimmy, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it either, honey. Those are things I'd, I'd kind of write off. Anybody that... You know, anybody that got a ring from me, I'd know their their address, zip, and phone number, and email, and probably their license tag or their car if I was going to give them a ring. So uh, that's just me. Yeah, but, would. you know, you, you're, you're being kind, and I don't feel like it's reciprocated from those dates of what I'm hearing. Um, mm-hmm. Joanne would know your signs and all that better than me. But, you know, I'm guessing somewhere there's an Aries in this somewhere, some Pisces, and then he's Virgo. So that's just a mess. Um so I would not look for that. Mm-hmm. You know, if he wanted to be found or he was still into you in the least bit, uh, you'd have his phone number, his email address, his everything. Do you know what I mean? He'd go out of his way to go, yeah. you know, and hey, I love you, baby, is- and whatever. I, well, no, I don't flipped. care anything about that emotionally. That's mm-hmm. I'm, I'm with, mm-hmm. being with somebody no. else for a mm-hmm. long time. No, but I'm, it's I'm nothing like that. Um, I was reminded in, in a reading with my mother who came through from the other side, and I had forgotten about the ring. That was why. And then I felt horrible that my mother had asked me. So I've been trying to retrieve it. Um, yeah. So is it do you see me finding him, or is he just not to be found, or he left the planet, or something? Well, first of all, I feel not a very trustworthy person, and he's a controller. So, um, mm. but he's slick, and. Are you going to find him? Mm, you're going to have to probably pay to one of those search places on the Internet, right, Jimmy? Yeah, I get – uh, he's definitely still here. I don't get that he might be in your town, but he's definitely in your state. Don't see you getting yeah. him back at all. Uh, really and, and, in mm-hmm. fact, I don't think he's walking around with your ring and staring at it every day. I don't even think he's aware of he still has it somewhere. He'd probably have to search for it to find it right now. So, right, makes sense. Yeah. Well, someone told yeah. me they thought he might be sick, so I was wondering, do you see anything about that? Yeah, and he then might he moved be what? Back to the he might be, you know, have some kind of um, disease or, you know, not doing well physically, and that he moved back with his family in Westchester, New York. Okay. Yeah, I don't get that either, but you're welcome to follow up and give him a call. But he's definitely still in the state of New York. I'd be hunting mm-hmm. them down if I wanted that ring bad enough. So, 
stuff yeah, to you, honey. Yeah. Otherwise, you just end up talking it to death. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd like to see you okay, get it back, you. but, you know, as it, as it stands you. right now, we don't see it. Okay. And you don't see him in New York. You don't see him in New York City anymore, then. I don't get that he's in New York oh. City, but he's somewhere in the state of New York. Right. Okay. Hmm. No. Okay. No. He's got in the, All right, he's honey. Got in the city. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, thank you anyway for that. You're welcome. <laughs> You're, You're welcome. welcome. Good luck on all that, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. We're going to try 910 again. Hi, 910. You're on the line live. Are you there? <laughs> Hello. Hello, 910. My little girlfriend would say, but we want you so bad. I want 910 so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to jump uh, to the next caller, and, and uh, it's 347. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 347, you're live. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm calling from New York. Hey, Katie, how are you tonight? I'm great. I'm great. Um, I have a question. So I I have a job offer, but um, I'm also seeing, like, new jobs that I'm applying for. So I'm just wondering, what are you picking up, I guess, career-wise? Like, am I going to take the one that offered it to me, or am I going to go with something else? Or, I don't know. Uh, give, give me your birthday, Katie. Um, 1226. <clears throat> now, did you quit a job, or are you still working at the place? I'm still working at one, but I want to, I want to leave. Okay. Is this in uh, like anything with medical or the healthcare industry? No. Okay. I do feel like that you've got October, November, and December. And uh, have you interviewed and got the job? Did they make the offer? Yeah, yeah, because actually I interviewed with them a, a while ago. I, and then, I, I see you leaving by the end of September, the be, the first week of October. Oh, for the for the for the other one. Yes. Okay, because um, I see other jobs who I've been applying for, so I just wasn't sure which one I might take or which one I might get. Well, you already have an offer on the table that I got a strong yes about. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it pays good. So it'll be one of my highest paying ever, so I'm excited why about you, that. Why would you, why would hey, you continue hey, to hey, honey, take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's because exactly what I said. Exactly no, because what I, I said. I may get, so for example, I applied for something today, but I don't know the salary. It could be the same salary or it could be more. I don't know. Well, first of all, I grabbed the right when you got one, a kid. The bird in the bush, you're grabbing, honey. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Why would you look for something else when you've been offered? You've been offered a great opportunity. Grab it. Hey, Grab hey it. I bet there's some competition in New York for that job. What do you think? No, yeah, but you, the thing is, I guess I have a lot of opportunities. There. Somebody just happened to send me something uh, else. Today. I said, oh, that sounds good, too, and you can wear jeans. Oh, that sounds cool, too, <laughs> but I don't know what right? to wear yet. But I don't. I don't want uh, salary for that. You're gonna blow well, the money. You're gonna blow the money if you overlook this one. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm trying to save some money right now, so it kind of works out for me to have more money. Good. I'd go for that, honey. And here's the thing, too. If you if you get some, let's say, hundred thousand dollar a year job, and you're starting with that, and a week later mm-hmm. you get an offer for a hundred and fifty or a hundred and eighty five, guess who I'm leaving and never putting on my resume? Okay. Right. So right. You feel you right. feel free right. to keep handing those things out. You feel free to keep going on interviews and you right. feel free to start in two or three weeks, okay? And if you get something unbelievable before you ever start day one at six figures and somebody's right. at hundred and fifty where I can wear jeans every day, I can tell you where my Hawaiian shirt and this is gonna I, go. Okay. I, I could, there you go. I could I could care less if I wear jeans. <clears throat> I'm going for the gold. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you you're, right. You're, you right. You <laughs> you're right. You're right. 
Yeah. <laughs> I can wait to leave after work. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay. honey. Yeah, well, thank you. Thanks thank so much you for both. listening. Oh, my gosh. We're glad you called in, honey. Thank you. You gave us some good laughs tonight, so we thanks. appreciate that. Go for it. Thank Go you. for it. Okay? okay thanks. Yes, thanks. Thanks, honey. You, you're welcome. Gosh. All right. 704, one of our final callers here. What's your name? Where are you calling from? We've had nonstop people tonight, Joanne. Isn't it fun like that? <laughs> oh, I love it. Hi. Yeah. Hi, my name is Paulina. Hi, I'm from North Carolina. How are you, What's honey? Your name, I hope you're among, amongst all the survivors. Good Lord. I, I had am, clients yeah. all throughout North Carolina and the Carolinas, and they kept saying, Jimmy, move the storm. Move the st-. I said, where do you want me to move it to? I got I got clients from Florida all the way to Maine. Who should I move it on to? So we're um, hoping honey, yeah. that you're going to dry out, honey, and you're doing okay. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing okay, good. What's, Thank you. What's your What's good. your name, honey? It's funny to be like boy, O N I T A. Okay, Bonita, what's your birthday, honey? One thirteen. Okay. Well, you're in a really great cycle this year. Holy mackerel! Um, what's your question? My question is about uh, my yes. My question is about do do you see uh, a nice guy coming in to like a guy marriage material coming into my life? Because well, I've got one now that's like uh, giving me a headache. Yeah, well, you know what? Here's the thing. I always tell I always tell my my girls that you know you got to do your pros and cons list here, okay? And with the non negotiable list. If he's giving you a headache, you better get real clear here because you're wasting your time, number one. If you don't have three things in a relationship, it does, it's not going to work. That's trust, respect, and communication. And if you don't yeah, have those three things, pardon me? That's why I'm looking for a new one. <laughs> yeah, well, you, well, you got to clear the deck before the new one can come in. I cleared it. As effective 5 p.m. today. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Well, you know what? I, before you start looking for another bow, I'm going to tell you, you better take a few minutes here or a, a few weeks. And what what lesson did you learn from this last relationship before you start dancing around out there? Uh, <clears throat> listen to my intuition. That's the main. That's the main one. Well, you know, Benita. Well, I have to tell you, you got to take your rose-colored glasses off, sister. You got to take those off because you know you want to see the best in everybody without getting all the big picture here. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's beyond chemistry here. Chemistry only lasts so long. You've got to have those three things. You know, give me a guy that means what he says, says what he means. I don't want to, and he better be a good communicator because I'm not going to do the guest work. Right. Um, but I do feel October, November, and December is really a good cycle for you to start anything new. Um, but I, before you venture out and sign up with another guy, you better get real clear of what is, works for you and what kind of guy you want. I have a non-negotiable list that I had. I did it when I was 20. But by the same token, too, and what I mean by non-negotiable, if they're an alcoholic or a druggie, I'm not their rehab center, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be a fixer because fixers always wind up to be a victim. So mm-hmm. they have to be somebody who definitely is family-oriented, Definitely has a career for us because I'm not supporting a man baby. Quit choosing man babies. That's my point. Mhm. Makes sense, honey. Yeah. What about career wise? Um, because I just started a new, a new career. What is your new career, honey? Uh, security. Test strong for you, Joanne. Yeah, yeah. It does. So you get the and same then, thing. Yeah, and you got a, you got about thirty days for the next man, by the way. So 
Oh. I always tell all the beautiful women, accept every opportunity to go to anything that uh, anybody invites you to. You might be one introduction from tall, dark, and oh, my God. So you never yeah. know. So your girlfriends ask you to go out, even if you don't feel like it, you need to go because spirit is so wildly weird. Some things are like five steps away from us, and we never know. And you go there, and they introduce you to their, you know, cousin that's out from in from out of town. They're from Chicago, and then you find out they're moving to North Carolina. So, um, you know, that's the kind of thing it is. And so definitely go out with all your girlfriends, and worst-case scenario, you'll have a great time. Make sense? Makes sense. Yeah. And you test good for where you're at now. Um, right. When I ask about staying there, maybe not so much, but if you get a chance to move up somewhere else and it's okay if you do security somewhere else, that's fine too. And by the way, it's almost like if you did some of this for a while, then you could actually sell security. They're showing me, I swear to you, it's like Brinks or ADT. You could sell a uh, service. You're very kind and low key, uh, that sort of thing. So makes sense could even be homes. You don't test as much for residential as you do for commercial, by the way. Huh. Because so, I actually look, I actually am like a patrol security. Okay. So well, there you go. Yeah. Imagine if you do that enough, how great that would be on a resume, honey, and then you could work for an ADT or a Brinks or somebody. And, again, you don't test residential. You test commercial. But you might okay. make some good money in commercial and go, hey, you know, when I'm out on patrol, here's some things we've seen. And, you know, you'd be much more relatable than somebody that goes, yeah, we're wiring this thing over here and this door here. It's like, no, no, no. I've seen where people break into this area or that area, and here are your weak points, right? <clears throat> but you need, to, you, need, you need to have at least 18 months' experience under your belt, though. Okay. Yeah, you need to have some time there. But, you know, be looking. Be looking. You never know. Okay. We're glad you're okay in the storm. Yeah, we're Thank certainly, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out with everybody in the Carolinas and anybody that was impacted by that, by, for certain. And a year ago, uh, about this this month, we were hit by Irma. So believe me, we know. And we're definitely mm, yeah, excited we for that. So it was brutal. So, uh, yeah. you know, we're glad, we're glad you're okay, honey. And thanks for listening to the show tonight and being on. Oh, you're so welcome. Have a wonderful evening. Yeah. You too. Thank you. Thanks for your call. I love people Bye-bye. from the South. And, yeah, the Carolinas. Don't you, Joanne? They're a dream. Oh, my goodness. They're the sweetest. Yeah, they're so yep. nice. Joanne, did, did this fly by? You and I, it always flies by, doesn't it? It, it really does, Jim. We Well, we have synergy. <laughs> we always have. We've always had a great what synergy when we do the work. Yeah. I we love do. it. I love it. Gosh, tell them once again, honey, before I sign off, how to get a hold of you. Folks, you're going to want to go deeper. You see how people are initially talking about their love life, and then they want to jump to career, and then they want to jump to health. And, you know, reach out to Joanne if you want to go into a deeper reading, and, and she's going to give you all the information. Um, they could check my website, which has my bio, which is psychic, Joanne, J O A N N E, Leo.com. My email is psychicjoanneleo at gmail.com. And you can always reach me by phone, which is 727-743-3400. I do have soul readings, which is your name on your birth certificate and your birth date, which is your blueprint. And uh, it reveals so much about your life and your path and what your strengths are and what you need to learn. Love it. Love it. Always a fun time. Thanks, Joanne. We love you. We appreciate you. Love you too, Jimmy. All right, honey. Folks, that's our show for tonight. Tune in next Tuesday night, uh, 9 p.m. We always have a great show for you, and we have a couple different people on, as always. And uh, we just make it fun. We live it. We breathe it. And don't hesitate to email us, info at jimmymachealing.com. Uh, we'll gladly send you out all Joanne's information as well as my own. We send out a ton of audios and videos and different things you can read, watch, and listen to. So keep in touch, and we'll see you again next Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, it's Jimmy Mack and the Jimmy Mack Healing Show, and I want to wish everybody the rest of your life will be the best of your life and to make progress every day.
Thanks, everybody. Bye for now. It's maybe the night that my dreams might let me know. All the stars are closer. All the stars are closer. Tell me what you gonna do to me. Confrontation ain't nothing new to me. You could bring a bullet, bring a sword, bring a morgue, but you can't bring the truth to me. Alexa, play Kendrick Lamar and SZA. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. Point out the colors of you. I see them too, and boy, I like them. I like them. I like them. We way too fly to partake in all this hate. We out here vibing. We vibing. We vibing. Alexa, play Ariana Grande. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today.